Hello, welcome to episode 2 of the Ultimate Exile tutorial series. I didn't plan this out. In this episode, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up your own grab poses. And I've actually also got the next episode planned just over there, where I'm going to be talking you through uh, the basics of the constraints in Ultimate XR. Uh, so let's hop in. If we come over to this little cylinder over here, you can see if we grab it, we've got this hand pose, which I have made, and I'm going to walk you through how you can make your own. The Ultimate XR workflow is that good that it took me about five, ten minutes to work out how to do this, and I didn't read through the documentation because the hand pose editor is just that simple. Now, to set up your own grab points, you are going to need an object that you want to grab. We haven't got anything that interesting on here, so we're just going to use a capsule. You could also use a cylinder like I did for the intro, but I've already done that, so we're going to make something different. So, as per usual, you're going to need to add a UXR grabbable object to this component, component, component to this object. And to start off, we're going to register our avatar for grips, just like so. We'll create our left snap and right snap. And we will give our grip point a name. So this will be the top grab. I'll show you how to author multiple grab points as well in this video. If you see here, we have our scripts, which the editors aren't working for. Not sure what's going on there, but we'll just ignore it for now. And to access the hand pose thing, you're going to want to go up to Tools, Ultimate XR, Hand Pose Editor. And here is how it looks. Um, you can see at the top here we have our avatar settings. On the side we have some presets. Here is where we will define our new pose. And this is the main part. This is what we're going to be focusing on. So to start off with, you're going to want to grab your avatar and drag it up here. Nice and simple. And here you can see all of the poses uh, for all of the different poses. But if we come over to our character here, you can see this is the default pose. But if we switch to, I don't know, demo machine gun front, you can see it switches to that. Grab thumb, you can see it switches to that, etc. So we are going to start by creating a new pose. So to cre create new pose. And you can save this wherever. I'm just saving it in my assets. And I will call this capsule grab. And there we go. Now, as you can see, we've got all these new little things to play with. Uh, and you can mess about with this. Uh, that's the left hand. You can just click and drag and it will move the fingers. So this is the tip and this is the base. You can also change the rough rotation. Now, you can just sit there and edit it there, but I find my favorite way to edit this is to come over to our capsule object and click on either our left or right grab, which isn't showing anything. Oh, that explains why. Click on the grip pose, and you're going to want to select your new pose first. So that is, yeah, here we go, up at the top, capsule grab. There we go, now our hands are here. Now if we click on our left grab or our right grab, we'll start with right because it's already facing roughly the right way. We can move it where we would want it to start with. So there you go. And then we can come over here and start playing with the, the fingers to make the pose. Uh, so if we come over to this index finger here, I can tell that I want the base to be moved in a bit. You'll probably want to hold right click and use your scroll wheel to lower your speed while doing this. In fact, that's probably all right for now. The thumb needs to come back a bit, in my opinion, and then needs to go inwards, just like so. What we do is going back further and then being a bit more, a bit more relaxed. There we go. We'll do the same for the middle finger here. Change the rotation a bit. Same for the ring. And finally the pinky finger. Overestimate that one a bit. And there we go, you can see it kind of looks like it's grabbing the capsule. Now, to quickly copy this pose over to the left hand, you're just going to want to click copy right to left, or if you did the left hand first, left to right. And if we now click on the left grab, you can see we have the pose. Uh, I believe mirror front back. Yep, there we go. And then just move this to where it looks right. And you can just click on the capture at the top here to make sure that both look okay. Just like so, and looking good to me. Uh, now you can just close this. Uh, that's 
all good now. And we should be good to head into the game. We're going to add a rigid body really quickly. I'm going to set it to kinematic so it just kind of floats when we first grab it. You don't have to do that, it's up to you. Uh, there we go. And we can just head into the game. Here we are. You can see our capsule is just floating over here. And if we just grab it, our new pose is here. Now, this is the top grab. And we're going to quickly run through how to add multiple grab points so that you can also grab the bottom and the side. Now, to add multiple grab points, you're going to want to come down to the grab points. And here you'll find additional grab points. You can just click the plus, And this will add a completely new grab point. We'll add grab bottom. And we'll create our left snap and right snap for this. So you can see grab bottom just like that. For the grab pose, we can use the exact same grab. That's the same grab. We want the capture grab. And we'll come down to. Did I forget something? <laughs> it looks like it's reset everything. So we're going to re add our capture grab. And there we go. And as you can see, the left grab's already facing the right way so we can just move this like so for the right grab mirror front back and move it down and there we have our second grab you can see both of them in the editor here and then really quickly we can add the side grab uh, which is just grab the side for this one actually not sure what we're going to use so i'm just going to use grab see if that works at all and create left snap create right snap left grab that's a bit too much i think i think we might want to use grab ball actually as this has more that we can tweak so like so it doesn't have to look too good for this one. We're just messing about testing things. So it doesn't matter if like the thumb isn't actually grabbing it properly. If you wanted, you could make your own new grab point for this side one. But again, I'm just trying to speed through this. Make sure you understand how it works. We will copy from other hand. And then just move it like so. And if we now click back on the top, turn off our gizmos, we can see all of our different grab poses. If you want to hide these, uh, you can come down to preview grip pose message and just click don't show. But I think it is quite handy, so I'm gonna have both. And if we now hop in again, we should see if we come over to our capsule that we can grab the side, the top and the bottom. Now this is currently set up to be able to grip with both hands. And I mean, you may want that, but I'm not really feeling it for this one. So you just look at this main grab point actually and both hands compatible, just going to turn it off. That's wrong. We don't want that. I don't know why I thought it was that. Uh, where is it? <laughs> Here it is. Sorry. It's in the general parameters. Uh, you're going to want to turn off allow two hands grab if you just want it to be able to grab by one hand at a time. We need to actually click off of our capsule to hide all of the hand meshes and come over to our capsule. As you can see, no matter where we grab now, it always has a, a pose to author. Could probably do with one for the upside down, but this works really well. It's a really good workflow. It's very quick and you can make quite a few good poses for your objects nice and quickly. So I hope this was handy. Uh, if you learned anything or if this was helpful, I'd appreciate if you'd like, subscribe, leave a comment, all of that. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.